gonna start off by dumping some blueberries and raspberries into a bundt pan. Next, I have some brown sugar, about a fourth of a cup. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on the fruit, about half, and we're gonna set that to the side because we're gonna need it for later. And then we're gonna move this to the side, bring in a mixing bowl. We have two packs of Jiffy cornbread mix. We're gonna dump that into the mixing bowl, make sure that all of it comes out. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our eggs, crack two eggs in there. Then I have a can of this sweet cream corn. We're actually gonna use about half the can, so put about half the can in there. I'm gonna take about two thirds cup of water, put that into the mixture. And I like to take some sweetened condensed milk. So just go ahead and squeeze that in. And then that brown sugar that we put to the side, we're gonna go ahead and dump the rest of that in there as well. Mix all of these ingredients together. I have this whipped Philadelphia berry mixed cream cheese. We're gonna go ahead and take that much, about two tablespoons put in there. Just mix that in, getting it all combined. Now this said the recipe you gotta be very careful with. We're gonna put some more of these raspberries in here. And we wanna just fold these in very gently so they don't break, okay? And we're gonna set these to the side because we're gonna need these for later. Block of Philadelphia cream cheese. This step is so important and makes it so good. We're gonna take the cream cheese. As you can see, I cut up into little squares. We're gonna go ahead and plop those in there. So we'll go ahead and put all this cream cheese in there, the entire block. So again, we wanna fold the cream cheese in there with the raspberries. Okay, we wanna kind of be evenly spaced out. Making sure you don't mush or smush any of this together. And once it looks kind of like this consistency, we're gonna move the bunt pan back in and we are going to pour this mixture into the bunt pan. So that's what we're doing right now. And then just kinda, you get the idea. Fill it all the way up. And we're just gonna go ahead and smooth this around, making sure you have an even space with cream cheese and raspberries. Now you remember the raspberries I told you set to the side, we're gonna go ahead and just put a couple on top because they will kinda sink down into here. When this cooks, it's gonna just expand up and it's gonna be amazing. So oven's preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna go ahead and pop this in. Okay, 35 minutes at 400, and look at this, you guys. Okay, it's been cooling off for a couple minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take a cutting board, put it on top, and this is the critical part. We take it, we flip it over. Give it a couple love taps. And the moment of truth, are you ready for this, you guys? Oh my gosh. You're not ready for this. Look at that, you guys. This is still very, very edible. We're gonna go ahead and cut into this. Get a nice little piece. I mean, look at that. Cooked perfectly. We got the, this piece is gonna have your cream cheese, your raspberry. Mm. Even though it fell apart, this is so good, you guys. You have to give this recipe a shot. Just make sure you uh, spray your bun pan with some oil before you throw it in the oven.